Hello my friends, welcome to day three of this 14 day yoga challenge. This will be a playful, fluid dancer's flow where we ignite a sense of playfulness, fluidity, strength and expansion through the body as we move with a sense of rhythm as we connect to our breath. This is day three of the 14 day yoga challenge to celebrate the launch of my online membership site, Tana Studio, which is now live. So if you're interested in practicing with me on there, I have longer practices along with breathwork, meditation and other fun, juicy stuff. So come on over, the link is down below if you wanna join after this practice. Okay, that was a long intro, I apologize. Let's get into it. You're welcome to start at the front of your space in a forward fold here. So take a loose bend into the knees and grab onto the opposite elbows. Close your eyes, loosen the shoulders, loosen the neck, the face, the jaw. And then let's land here with a nice, relaxed and full breath in through the nose. Feel everything expand. And then open and release through the mouth. With that out breath, feeling the feet ground into the earth like an anchor holding you. We begin to sway the body from left to right. Nice and slowly, open the eyes if they're not open already and then interlace your hands. Start to circle the wrists out in one direction. Make sure that your knees are still bent here and then change the directions of the circles. Beautiful, gently release, drop your left hand to the ground and stretch your right fingers up into the sky. Maybe you'll straighten the right leg slightly as the left knee bends, reach into the shoulder, into the arm. And then exhale, change sides, stretching left fingers to the sky, maybe straightening through your left hamstring. Breathe in. And then as you breathe out, drop both hands down to the floor. Keep your knees bent as you begin to roll the body up to standing. Knees stay slightly bent. We lift the chest. Nice, juicy spinal roll. Lift the heart space. And then exhale, we fold over our thigh bones. We continue, roll the body up, segmenting the spine one vertebra at a time. And then open the chest, lift the heart. Exhale, fold forwards. Let's go for one more. Roll the body up. Maintain that rootedness through the feet. Knees stay bent. Exhale, Uttanasana, melt to the earth. Push into the feet, lift the chest, halfway lift. On the out breath, you can take it back into a plank position. Ground into the finger pads, feel the energy, draw up the arms, breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga all the way down to the earth, fingers to the side. A few rounds of rolling cobras, lift the chest, firm into the glutes as you open up the heart space. Exhale, we ripple down to the floor. We go again, rise, pushing into fingerprints, heart lifts forwards. Exhale, soften. We go again one more time, reaching chest forwards, pushing hips into earth, and then exhale, soften to the earth. Hands beneath your shoulders, tuck the toes, push yourself up into a plank pose. Pull the navel into the spine and just breathe into your whole body for a moment. And the out breath, roll the hips back, downward facing dog. Okay, spreading into fingers and toes, start to walk it out. Get your hips engaged with the movement, so sway the hips from left to right. Just feel into your shape, feel into your energy. And then nice and slow, we begin to lift the heels off the floor on the in-breath, ripple forwards to a high plank position. Pull the navel towards the spine, breathe in. On the out-breath, nice and slowly, lower the hips down towards the wrists, firm the bum and reach through your chest space in a hanging cobra shape. If you're not feeling ready for this, drop the knees down to the floor. Pull the navel in, breathe in. Exhale, bend your knees and roll your hips back, downward facing dog. And then we continue like that, lift the heels, feel the energy move up through the spine and then lower the hips as you reach through your front body. Breathe in, 
Exhale, hips guide the movement. Take it back, downward facing duck. We go again, rise onto the balls of your feet as you come through, hanging cobra. Make sure that your bum is active as you open up the heart. Exhale, roll the hips back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Last round here, finding that slow rhythm. You can move at your own pace. You can speed it up, you can slow it down. Feel into your own body, reach through the chest, and then bend your knees, take your hips back, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in, and out. On that out breath, lift the heels off the floor, and then hover the knees beneath the hips, quadruped shape. Not everybody's favorite, but one of my favorites. Such a good way to strengthen the whole body. Okay, shoulders over wrists and hips over knees. We fire this up for four, three, two, and one. Roll the hips back, downward facing dog. You can stay in this short shape for one breath. And then we go again, heels rise, hover the knees off the floor, keep the spine nice and straight, adding a little bit of variation here. Pull the right knee to the right elbow. Keep the core engaged, we hold for three, for two, for one, beautiful. Drop the foot down, keep the right knee hovering off the earth, left knee to left elbow for three, for two, for one. Drop both feet to the floor, sink both knees to the ground. Inhale, cow pose, reach the chest forwards. Exhale, round the spine. One more time, open up the chest space. Peel the shoulders back. Exhale, round the body in. On your next breath, we pick the knees off the floor. Last time we're doing this, I promise. Pull the right knee to the right elbow. We hold for three, for two. For one, drop the right foot down. Other side, left knee to left elbow for three. For two, for one. Both feet down, sink your knees to the earth. Take a round of cat-cow. Open up the heart space on the in-breath. On the out-breath, round the spine. <sighs> Lovely work, guys. Take the hips back in a downward facing dog. Push energetically into your hands and your feet. And then stretch your right toes into the sky, three-legged dog, breathe in. Exhale, lift the left heel off the floor, squeeze the knee into the chest. And then land the foot in between the hands. High crescent lunge, reach the arms tall. Right away, we cactus the arms, open up the heart space. Exhale, round the body in, contract. And then again, we open to fully expand. Exhale, round, curl into self. Inhale, cactus. Listen carefully, drop the left knee to the earth. Take a half split pose. Welcome to reach the hands behind you or drop the hands to the floor, your choice. Awaken those toes in front of you and breathe. And then nice and slowly shift forwards onto the right foot. Nice big circle, warrior two, straight into your reverse warrior. Stretch the right arm to the sky. Now breathe in. On the out breath, skandasana, bend into the right leg, straighten through your left leg, guiding the hands together at the chest. Warrior two, we glide to face the back of our space, bending generously into the left leg, stretch into the fingers, and then take a reverse through your left arm, stretching through left fingers. Skandasana, bend into the left, straighten through your right. Okay, we're looking over to the right foot now, take a breath. And then on that out breath, glide forwards, warrior two, nice big movement, stretch into arms, energize the arms, energize your whole frame. Take a reverse on the in breath, on the out breath, low lunge. Ground the hands into the earth and stretch your right toes into the sky, three-legged dog. Bend into the top leg and make your way into a flip dog, firming bum, reaching chest to the sky, opening up, finding some expansive quality here. Maybe you'll drop the head into the right hand. Maybe not, wherever you are, find some play. 
All right, we're gonna lower the hips. Right hand meets the ground. Drop the right knee to the floor. Supported side plank pose. Stretch into your left fingers. Breathe in. And then as you breathe out, pick your left foot off the floor. Bend into the left leg. Maybe you'll catch a bind, grabbing left hand to left foot. If you're here, reach your chest forwards. Firm into the right fingers. <sighs> nice and slowly. Let your foot go, drop it down to the floor, gate pose, we rise and reach your right fingers to the back of your space. Beautiful side body opening. Okay, on the out breath, cobble your hands down to the floor, sweep your right toes back in a three-legged dog, radiate through your back toes, and then low lunge, land the foot in between the hands. Reach the chest forwards, take a breath. On the out breath, bring this left leg all the way into the body, one-legged mountain pose in a nice big movement. Okay, you're here with me. And if you're kind of wobbling all over the show, don't worry about it. It's all good, I'm also wobbling. Okay, we're gonna to start to bring this left leg back, keeping the left knee bent and come into dancer's pose. So, let's keep this left leg bent, reach the right hand forwards and slowly begin to kick into the hand slightly. Try to pull the navel to the spine and look over your right fingers if you're not crashing into a wall like me. Okay, so finding that extension of your leg, doing your best to pull this left hip point forwards, working to keep those hips square. Okay, I'll give you another moment here to explore. And then when you're ready, nice and slowly, you're gonna let your foot go. Drop the back toes to the floor. Stretch the arms long, sink your left knee to the mat. Are we together? Okay, <laughs> take your hands behind you, half splits pose. Your hands can also be on the earth. One more round of breath. <sighs> Beautiful work. Shift forwards onto the foot. Plank pose, you're gonna step it back. Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog, downward facing on the out breath, roll the hips back. All right, moving on to the other side, stretch your left toes into the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, squeeze the knee into the chest and then land the foot in between the hands, high crescent lunge. Arms grow tall, cactus the arms, open the heart. Exhale, round, wrap yourself around an imaginary ball. We open up again and then exhale, curl the body in. And again, open to expand. Exhale, round. <sighs> Moving with the breath. Cactus the arms. Drop the back knee to the floor. All right, let's go for a half splits pose. Pull the toes towards you. Let the breath slow down for a moment. Helpful to keep those back toes tucked for support. <sighs> okay. When you're ready, shift forwards onto the left foot, warrior two, stretch the arms long, push into the back foot, and reverse on the in breath. Finding that rhythm on the out breath, skandhasana, your left leg bends, your right leg straightens. We glide to the back, warrior two, facing the back of your space. Feel the energy in the legs, the energy in the lower body and the arms. Reverse on the in-breath. Exhale, skandhasana, bending into the right leg. On your next in-breath, glide the body forwards, warrior two, stretching into arms, inhale. And reverse on the exhale. Low lunge, cartwheel the hands down to the earth. Sweep your left toes back in a three-legged dog, stretching into foot. Bend into leg, flip your dog. Find that lift through your hips, through your heart space. Taking a moment to explore yourself in this shape, in this perspective. Nice and slow. When you're ready, lower the hips, left hand meets the ground, squeezing left knee to chest space. Drop the left knee to the earth. Supported side plank pose. Take a breath. 
stretch into the top arm and plug into the edge of the right foot. Slowly, we'll lift the right leg off the floor and then bend into the leg. If you took it on the first side, you can find a bind, reaching right hand to right foot and maybe pulling the foot a bit closer to your hip. Take another round of breath. On the exhale, land the foot softly to the floor. Make your way up into gate pose. Stretch your left fingers long to the back of your space and take a breath into the left rib cage. On the out breath, hands cartwheel to the floor. Sweep your left toes back, three-legged dog. We breathe in and then finding that fluidity, low lunge, land in between the hands, melt the hips down, lift the chest. All right, nice springing action leads us into a one-legged mountain pose. Pull the right knee in, drop that energy down. So root the left foot into the earth as you squeeze the right knee into the chest. All right, and then once you're here, we're gonna slowly bring it back. Right hand to the inner part of the right ankle. Dancer's pose. Kick into the hand, and then find your point of drishti over your left fingers. Once again, if you're not crashing into a wall, I would keep this left hand straight. <laughs> okay, we're gonna breathe for another moment. Nice and slow. Now take your time doing this. Let go of the foot. Your back toes meet the mat. You sink your right knee to the floor. And then we take a half splits pose. <sighs> Strong movement. Take one more breath. <laughs> On the out breath, shift forwards onto the left leg and take it back into a plank pose. Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog. Open yourself up, roll the hips back, downward facing dog. Lovely work, guys. Let's all take a nice rooted breath in through the nose, feel the sides of the waist expand and then open and release through the mouth. On that exhale, lift your gaze and start to slowly walk your feet towards your hands. We are going to meet in a Malasana squat at the front of our space. Come into a passive squat as the hands meet the heart and then try to lengthen out of the lower back for a moment. On your next in-breath, you can stretch the right hand all the way back behind you, plug into the hand and lift your hips, firm into the bum and open your heart space. So just as we did in day one, exploring this transition from our Malasana. And then nice and slow, lower the hips back down. We're gonna take it to the other side, just one more time, pushing into the left hand, lifting up, stretching your right arm up and over and really grounding into both feet. One more breath. <sighs> Beautiful, guys. Slowly, let's come all the way back down. Lower your bum down to find a seated position. Gluing your feet to the ground, stretch the fingers long and nice and slowly roll all the way down. Guide your right knee towards your body once you're here. Find a wind removing pose, give it a squeeze. And then exhale, guide the knee over to the left side in a supine twist, melting right shoulder to ground. You can look towards your right fingers as you find a bit more space through the hips, through the thorax. And then gently bring the knee back into center, give it a squeeze, change sides. Left knee into body, inhale. Exhale, twist to the other side. Try to ground your left shoulder blade first before you deepen your twist. On that out breath, let's guide both knees to the center of the body. You can give yourself a final squeeze, a final hug here, hugging everything in. Take an inhale, exhale, let it all go. Shavasana. Stretching legs long, hands to either side of your body, close the eyes. 
soften the breath. We'll be here for about two to three minutes. I invite you to stay if you can. Begin to deepen your breathing. Noticing any sounds, smells around you. And then slowly coming back into the body with some gentle movements in the toes, the fingers, maybe licking your lips, swaying the head from left to right. And then gently in your own time, you can guide your knees into the body, cross your right foot over your left foot, and then we'll take a rock or two to bring ourselves up into a seated position. Take your time. If you're still in Shavasana, please stay. Always like to encourage anyone in Shavasana to stay as long as they can. It's the best part of the practice. <laughs> okay, let's bring the hands into the heart and take a nice big breath. In through the nose, feel everything expand. Hold it in for one moment. And then open the mouth and let it go. Namaste. Thank you guys for joining me today. I'm so excited that you're joining me on this challenge. Please let me know how you went in the comments below if you enjoy this practice and if you're enjoying the challenge in general. And yeah, I'm excited to see you tomorrow for day four. Um, I am trying to bring a few different kind of practices in this challenge. So a little bit of softness, a little bit of strength, but overall, always a bit of playfulness. So yeah, hope you enjoy. Remember to subscribe. And as I mentioned earlier, the link is down below if you are interested in joining me for longer practices at Tana Studio. All right, have a beautiful one, guys. I'll see you soon.